Drama outside a New York courthouse as the man accused in a deadly road rage attack faces a judge. We'll start there at 4 o'clock. Hello, everyone. I'm David Ushery. And I'm Natalie Pascarella on Long Island. A man now facing murder charges in that deadly road rage beating. We're now getting our first look at the victim. This is 54-year-old David McKenzie. Today, emotions, as you saw, boiling over outside of court as the alleged attacker faced a judge for the first time. News Force Pacey Chang live in Baldwin with more Pacey. Natalie, you know, police arrested 26-year-old Patrick Destin, and they say the motive for this brutal beating was pure road rage. Destin was upset that a car, a used car that he had just purchased, was involved in a car accident with the victim, David McKenzie, and he blamed him for the accident, even though police say it wasn't the victim's fault, causing him to stomp the victim repeatedly in the head, kick him until he died. I lost my son for nothing at all. It shouldn't be. Perlene McKenzie devastated and in mourning over the senseless death of her son, David. Hard-working family man. Police say David McKenzie was driving home Saturday night around 10.50. He was feet from his house when he got into a car crash with 26-year-old... Police say it was Destin's fault. He had run a stop sign. <laughs> he ran a stop sign. <laughs> See, look, that right there, that's DNA, man. That dude belong on the savannah, barefoot, flat feet. You know, like peeking through some shrubbery, looking for a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like a, 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 a monkey to, to kill for dinner or some shit. He don't belong in the world, man. That's a fucking tribesman right there, man. That's a hunter-gatherer right there, man. That's a hunter-gatherer, man. You got him in a fucking machine with goddamn incombustible engine and goddamn transmission with fucking street lights and signs and shit. That's a hunter gatherer right there, man. You're putting ethanol in a diesel truck, man. <laughs> yeah, Don't go man. There. He he and he's going to be fine in prison. He's going to this reason I'm saying look how look how much he's struggling in society. Cause I know some people say, but man, why are you talking about the man like that, man? Look how much he's struggling in society. He can't handle a stop sign. He can't handle the impending accident that running the stop sign causes. He can't handle the confrontation with the other driver. He's failed. We've only known this guy for 30 seconds, and everything he's done has been a failure. Right, he needs that. That structure is gonna help him out. You know, when you wake up, exactly. when, you, when you go to exactly. sleep, when you wake he's going to thrive in that. And he's gonna, and he's not gonna be able to harm the greater society from there. And he might act. He might go to school, get an education. He might, um, he might take some classes. He might, um, you know, what I'm saying, he might get a job. He might become great at chess. Well, you know. There's only certain. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, you'd be surprised. I mean, so how much I'm at do chess. I mean, when you don't have shit to do, you know, you play chess. I, I, I got some videos of some sun men who's supposed to be chess. Um, what do you what do they call the people? The chess pros, and they got randos beating them. Random like white sixth graders coming to the park with all the all the um the 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 the, the um in New York City. Well, all the chess, um, what do they call them? The chess, um, I think they call like chess hacks or chess, um, whatever the fuck. Those guys in New York that, that play chess all day. Like in the parks? They, they be bringing like white sixth graders over there and they be beating them in like 10 I, seconds and shit. Are you like, serious? Boom, boom. You know how they tap the little thing after you make your move? Yeah. I kid, it just boom, boom, boom. Beat them in like 10 seconds. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you, see, I would call bullshit. This ain't a game for the sun, man, man. 
I can't believe that I'm gonna call we, bullshit. We thinking we be good at it, but it's 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 levels to chess. Grandmasters, go look up how many grandmasters in chess are black. Just go look it up. Call me a coon. Get mad at me. Look up how many chess grandmasters there are, and that are black. And I promise you, if you could play chess at the grandmaster level and you lived in a hole in the ground in Antarctica. They would come find you. I only know what Bobby promised you that. They would find you if you lived in a fucking tree in Papua New Guinea. They would come find you if you were chess grandmaster. All right, then what about what about spades or casino? Can you can we get the summer yeah, credit on the spade? Nah. Nice. Right. Mourning over the senseless death of her son. What happened? What happened to the sound? You could hear it. I heard it. What? David. Oh, God. Yeah, it happened? sounds good on my end. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I hear the audio. Yeah. yeah. Tell me if you can sounds hear the audio. Here too. I don't think I can hear it. The victim. This is 54 year old David McKenzie. Today, emotions as you. It don't sound like he could hear us talking right now. I, I guess having technical difficulties. Hey, so can you hear? Over can you hear me now? Outside of court. We can hear you. The yeah, we can, can hear you. Hear yeah. Can you hear the video? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the fuck happened. You just and couldn't hear at, us. And look at this she boom fighting. Who whose family you think she with? You think she's with the victim's family, or you think she's with the guy who fucking curb stomped the dude over the car accident's family? Curb stomper. Curb stomper. And this is, I'm saying, like, that's what I'm trying to tell you, like, who, like, <laughs> that she's the family of the guy who d did that. And she's in the parking lot drawing all this attention to her and fighting with cops. I mean, <laughs> Hit one if you understand what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not saying kill us all. I'm not saying nothing like that. I'm saying when they go to prison, they'll be fine. Feeling over outside of court as the alleged attacker faced a judge for the first time. News Force Pacey Chang live in Baldwin with more Pacey. Natalie, you know, police arrest. 26 year old Patrick Destin, and they say the motive for this brutal beating was pure road rage. Destin was upset that a car, a used car that he had just purchased, was involved in a car accident with the victim, David McKenzie, and he blamed him for the accident, even though police say it wasn't the victim's fault, causing him to stomp the victim repeatedly in the head, kick him until he died. I lost my son for nothing at all. It shouldn't be. Perlene McKenzie, devastated and in mourning over the senseless death of her son, David. Hard-working family man. Police say David McKenzie was driving home Saturday night around 10.50. He was feet from his house when he got into a car crash with 26-year-old Patrick Destin. Police say it was Destin's fault. He had run a stop sign and made a, um unsafe right turn without his headlights on and struck the side of uh, Mr. McKenzie's van, who was going westbound. And even though prosecutors say McKenzie told Destin he wouldn't call the police to report the accident, Destin was still irate. The subject caught up. He told this son, man, look, man, it's all right. I'm going to let you, I'm going to unleash you back onto the population. <laughs> I'm going to release you back onto the unsuspecting population. <laughs> you, think showing, you think showing mercy to this, uh, to Desmond was what got him killed? Yeah, no, I, I, those unpunished. <laughs> I agree with that. It was, oh, you're going to, you're going to be weak. You're going to be weak. I can do whatever I want to, to you. That's a shame. I wish he shot him. If he would have shot this son, man, it would have been hell to pay. That guy would have, that guy would have been in a whole lot of trouble. And he's in a whole lot of trouble now. He's dead. I'm with the guy that, yeah. <laughs> That's true.
But he didn't have a gun. I know, I know. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. This kid right here, somebody called him a ticking time bomb. This is not a ticking time bomb. This is like, this is literally like a, um, a trap, a booby trap. Like, he not a, t a time bomb just goes off once. This guy, like, th they go off many times before they're finally, you know what I'm saying, deactivated, man. Imagine what else this guy's done. Imagine how he got the money to buy that car from the auction. Mm. I didn't even think Zero about that. Patrick Destin. Police say it was Destin's fault. He had run a stop sign and made a um, unsafe right turn without his headlights on and struck the side of uh, Mr. McKenzie's van, who was going westbound. And even though prosecutors say McKenzie told Destin he wouldn't call the police to report the accident, Destin was still irate. See? The subject caught up to the victim, David McKenzie. He pushed him to the ground and began to violently punch him and stomp and kick him in the head and, and, and face area. McKenzie was declared dead shortly after. Destin and his girlfriend, Aisha Pitt, were arrested near the crash scene. McKenzie's family is in mourning. They held each other for support. She was there. Okay, so she was there. I bet she, I bet she uh, in, um, instigated. Of course you did. Of course you did. Because if it was just between two guys, he probably would have been understanding and just let it slide. But no, he had to, he had to impress her. Marcy, look yeah, at this. Why was your van in my way? Why couldn't you avoid me and get out of my way? Look at this. <laughs> she beating on wow. the top car. Stupid bitch. <laughs> and look how they're catering to her. They're letting her do this. They are. Drama outside a New York courthouse as the man accused in a deadly road rage attack faces a judge. Wow. I wish I could meet your energy, man. Mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? People, these are the people. Charge her as an accomplice. We got to hear yeah. about how these people are, you know, they constantly have to, you know, <laughs> yeah, they got to fucking tiptoe around fucking society. And they gotta, they gotta be. What's it? Work twice as hard to get half as far. They gotta worry about cops, and you know, hopefully, the cops don't want to shoot me down. Yeah. Today. yeah. Every interaction with a cop is a potential dead, deadly situation for them. Yeah, LeBron and Aisha Pitt were arrested near the crash scene. Mackenzie's family is in mourning. They held each other for support just outside today's arraignment. David was the type of person who would try to walk away. He hates trouble or get himself in any kind of confrontation with anyone. So I had figured that from the moment it happened, that's what he tried to do. After the arraignment, tempers flared between the two families with Destin's girlfriend seemingly angry. She was eventually arrested by court officers. Destin was not granted bail. These are just good. She wanted to, she tried to fight the other family. Uh, little, little, little sun word versus African crime, huh? Who's African? Isn't the victim an African immigrant? No, nah, he sounds sounds his family sounds West Indies. Yeah, they, maybe they've been here for a while. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're fresh off the boat. They've been they they like they've been here a while. This whore came up there. After this family's just found out, like they just found out that their patriarch has been fucking curb stomped and to death. And now they got this fucking goddamn fucking amoeba, <laughs> this fucking, this fucking ferret trying to fight them after court. You think she didn't get at least a kick in? I mean, think about this. She's trying to fight them after court. And we got to hear about some white guy did something. The white guy did this here. The white woman did that there. Look at what this bitch is doing. 
you got to hear about a white guy who uh, shot a black kid that was rattling his doorknob when he opened the door. And, uh, you know, he was in fear of his life and he's not even killed. And he gets two million dollars, four million dollars on his GoFundMe. And we still got to hear about it. But this. These are, when I say they're terrible people, they are terrible people. Hey, I agree. It happened. Them. That's what the, there, there was one similar to this in Chicago today, right? I suggest you go to it, but fair warning, it's a fucking tearjerker. Put it, it was in on the Fox, It was on Fox 32. All right, we'll look for it. Look for it. What he tried to do. <laughs> After the arraignment, tempers flared between the two families, with Destin's girlfriend seemingly angry. She was eventually arrested by court officers. Destin was not granted bail. These are just allegations. We're not looking to rush to any judgment. It's a wound that's going to take a very long time to heal. I assure you that. But with the help of God and friends and whoever comes to give us their support, we believe we'll overcome. Police say Destin has a record of other violent felonies, but today he was charged with DWI and murder in the second degree. We're live from Hempstead tonight.